there's been some a lot of interesting studies that have been done that show if you eat, you know, within, you know, kind of eight to 12 hour window, you will have much better metabolic outcomes. And this is pretty, this is well established. And if we see in the WHOOP data that if you're, if you stop eating three hours prior to when you sleep, to when you fall asleep, markers of sleep and recovery are exponentially better. So timing of meals really, really does matter. And there's no question that, and we we know this from, from other research, you're more primed to metabolize food closer to when you wake up in the morning. So earlier in the day, you're going to be much more primed to utilize the nutrients that you're, that you've digested. I think if you can stop eating around when the sun sets, you'll position yourself to improve your metabolic health. And I, and I would go so far to say that, you know, regardless of what it is you're eating, because a lot of folks cannot afford to, you know, high quality food. That's just a reality. And a lot of those folks do suffer from, you know, at higher rates of cardio metabolic dysfunction. But if, if we can just consolidate our eating window to eight to 10 hours, we get ourselves like 60% of the way to our, our kind of metabolic goals. Again, it's not to say that content and quality does not matter. It absolutely does. But if we aren't going to, if, if we, if we can't focus on that for whatever it might be, consolidating our eating window. So eating every single one of our calories between, you know, an eight to 12 hour window, we will improve our health. That's the big key, I think, um, is, is you want a nice big buffer between when you when you have your last calorie and, and when you go to sleep. Because that it, they're both, so digestion is a parasympathetic activity. What does that right? mean? So that means, so your autonomic nervous system has two branches, your parasympathetic and your, and your sympathetic. Your parasympathetic is your rest and digest, right? We all also want to be in a parasympathetic state when we're sleeping. So when we are digesting food, we're basically kind of confusing our system in terms of where it should apply its resources, okay. right? So it basically diverts resources away from, you know, the sleep and the restoration. And, and that's what, you know, if you have a big meal, you'll notice your heart rate is really, yeah. is a lot higher, right? And your stress score is higher, right? Some of the features on, on the Whoop app. And when you are not having to digest, you'll see your stress score is lower. You'll see your heart, your, your heart rate is lower. Your heart rate variability would be higher higher in those situations. We want to make sure that when we're sleeping, we are not diverting any resources away from sleep. I mean, alcohol is another one, right? Like you just to metabolize alcohol, you're diverting, you know, significant resources away from the regeneration and the recovery that needs to happen during sleep by bouncing you out of deeper stages of sleep. So the same sort of effect happens with food. And we see this, you know, at population levels on the Whoop app, it's just very apparent that meal timing and alcohol are, are really the two biggest disruptors to a good night's sleep.